Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Sir Coaches. This is Brent. We're going to do something a little different today. What I want to do is I want to use our new GoPro mouth mount uh, to give you a point of view footage of me surfing and kind of talk you through the wave and what I'm thinking, what's going on. So this is me on like a little waist high day and you can see there's a peak coming up behind me to my left. I'm paddling into the wave. We're going to run through it here, dropping in, looking down the line in the direction I want to go, eyeing up the peak coming into my bottom turn, checking towards the beach, coming up, head, shoulders, hips, turning, getting a little crack off the top, getting a burst of speed, and then one more turn, bottom turn, top turn, kind of blasting the fins out. And we're gonna watch this quite a few times. Uh, I think the next time is gonna be in full speed, yeah, so you can get an idea of how fast everything happens. But again, <clears throat> the point of this is to show you like where my head is looking as I'm performing these turns and kind of show you what it looks like from the perspective of the surfer. So now we're going in really slow motion <clears throat> another time. So you can see I looked at the peak, the peaks to my left from my point of view here. So I know that I'm going to be going towards the right. I'm paddling in. I'm going to check back over my left here in just a second to check out, you know, kind of where the peak is and see where I need to be. So I need to fade further towards the peak or if I need to paddle more towards the right angle, my takeoff, I see that I'm in a good spot here where I can still catch the wave. So I'm gonna look towards the beach and start digging in. The wave's coming up underneath me and right about here you can see the acceleration and that's my board starting to plane. And here, since I know I caught the wave, now I wanna look down the line the direction I wanna go. So I'm gonna do that right now. And boom, I'm looking and I'm eyeing up the wave down the line. So now I know I have a couple options. If I wanna race the section and do a cutback, if I wanna to fade towards the bottom and do a off the top turn, uh, you know, just kind of decide what I want to do on the wave before it happens because you're always kind of anticipating what you're going to do, you know, before you start surfing. That's a big part of surfing is anticipating the wave and what it's going to do in front of you. And you can kind of see, uh, get a little pump for speed there and you can see the wave kind of building up and now I'm going to compress down. That shows how much compression I get because it shows how big the wave gets in the frame here is because I'm compressing down, reaching towards the wave coming off the bottom and well, look in this frame I'm looking up towards the lip you can see the lip it's starting to feather and here we go turning my head shoulders and hips back down towards the beach before the board even hits the lip pushing through my back foot then shifting my weight back forward and I'm able to complete that turn and I get a nice burst of speed off that section it wasn't super critical that that hit there but it was enough to give me a good burst of speed coming into the end section because this is a short wave and I can already see that that next section is coming at me so I'm going to recompress Already getting ready for the next turn. Here's the turn coming up. There's the lip. I look at it with my head, then turn, rotate down towards the beach. There's the board in the frame. Turning back down, really kick the fins out on that one. Have to shift my weight back forward so I don't fly off the back of the wave and I'm able to complete the maneuver. And now we're gonna watch it again. And even slower motion, I'm gonna pause it at certain spots. So here we go, we see the to my left, you can see the, the peak starting to come up. That was me head checking. It's always important to head check both directions to look for other surfers and see where the peak's gonna be. Getting up on a plane and boom, right here, I'm looking down the line and I'm looking at where I wanna go. I haven't even popped up at this point. So now I see the wave right here, I'm popping up, getting to my feet and my gaze goes directly back down the line. Even though I'm still kind of moving straight in towards the beach, I'm looking down the line. You can actually see where that surfer is. You can kind of see the peak starting to develop there. I know the GoPro doesn't give a lot of dimension on the waves, but you can see that peak just underneath where that closest surfer is starting to already develop. And that's when I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hit this section. So I get a little pump for speed. And then I, you can see all the spray come off my bottom of the board in the bottom right there. What that is, is that's me straightening out towards the beach. That's the spray coming off my inside rail. I straighten out towards the beach, compress down. I reach down towards the wave, getting as low as possible. And now I'm turning up and then boom, my head is coming up, looking at the section I wanna hit. We'll stop here again and you can see the lip is starting to feather right there in the top right of the frame. That's the section that I want to put my board into. So I'm looking at it with my eyes first, because wherever your head goes, your body's going to follow. So I'm looking at it here. Then just after this, I'm going to, I'm already kind of torquing with my body, rotating my body up the, up the face of the wave. My board is still kind of going straight down the wave at this point, um, because we go from the top down head, then shoulders, then hips. So I turn with my eyes, come up, I'm coming up into that section. And as I get up to the top of the section, I'm already looking back down. So here, I'm already looking down the line and look in the bottom right of the frame. You can see my board is going up the way, but my head is already turning back down. You kind of have to anticipate and do the movements. If you wait too long, basically, you're going to fly off the back of the wave. You have to, as you're coming up the lip of the wave or up the face of the wave, you have to already be turning back down. I turn back down, look back down the wave. A lot of spray come off that turn. And because it was a good turn off the lip, I'm up in the top of the wave. I don't have to pump for speed. 
and you can see the next section lining up right there, kind of in the, the middle of the frame. That's the next section that I want to hit. So at this point, I just completed my turn. I'm going to compress back down, kind of let the section build up in front of me. Here I'm compressing again. I reach towards the way for my bottom turn, coming up again. I see the lip coming at me. I'm looking at it with my eyes again. Now I'm still coming up, and then right here I'm going to turn back towards the beach so I can complete my maneuver. The lip's coming up, and right about here, it's coming up in a second, I turn towards the left, towards the beach, and you see my board is still going up, but my body's going down. That's me anticipating the turn. You can see I'm hitting with the nose of my board right into the lip, pushing through. The nose comes up real high because I push through hard on the tail. You can see how high the board uh, is up above the lip there uh, because I push so much of my tail to come off the bottom turn. Now I'm going to transfer the weight back towards my front foot. You can see how much weight is on the left part of my front foot there because that's me torquing towards the beach and that allows me to shift my weight back forward. My foot comes unstuck for a second, but my weight is shifting forward, so I'm able to come down, compress as I come down the face of the wave, and bang off a couple of nice turns, um, you know, relatively easily on a on a pretty short wave. That was that was two quick turns. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Of course, always go check out surfcoaches.com if you're not already a member. You're definitely missing out. There's tons of great video footage in there and exclusive membership videos. So, guys, until next time, I will see you.